Hi everyone, welcome to Vishwa Blue Home. So today we are going to look at the AM2 Challenges Polynomial Class 8. That is third and fourth question in this video we will look. Because first and uh, second already discussed in the previous video. So let's begin. First, we have the question if the polynomial Px power, once again, Px cube plus 4x square plus uh, 3x minus 4 and uh, x cube minus 4x plus p are divided by x minus b. So these two polynomials are divided by one number that is x minus b. So when they when they are divided, uh, it was found that reminder whichever we get when we find our p of x we find no. So that time, sorry sorry. So, P of X when we find right, so that time what was found it seems like both the results were same, reminders were same. So, that was found there it seems, okay. So, we have to solve that. Okay, let's do that. Just, uh, we, you know, for this we will find the reminders for, for both we will find the, sorry, sorry, here something. For both we will find the reminders first. Then what will happen is just it will be equal. No, we will equate it. Then find the value of p. Okay. Hope you understood. Then too, I'll explain. No, don't worry. Okay. I'll explain you. First, here write the given data. We have two two polynomials, right? Don't forget there are two polynomials which were given to us. So first, we'll do in first case that is first p of x. We will take one value. Okay. First one I'll take, okay? Px cube plus 4x square plus 3x minus 4. So this was the given p of x, first case p of x. So when you found from uh, x minus 3 is there, that is the uh, dividend which, divisor which you're going to divide with. So normally that is g of x, we equate it to 0 for finding the value of x so it minus 3 goes to rhs and becomes plus 3 so x value is 3 now wherever you find 3 in the polynomial just substitute it it's very easy now instead of p of x just put p of 3 and just write it's so easy p of 3 cube plus 4 into 3 square plus 3 into 3 minus 4 so hope it was clear i'll show the full polynomial i mean full thing once again once it's done okay fully i'll show you so when you solve all this you get 27 p plus 41 so i'll show the full thing once right we solved it we substituted 3 in the place of x so we got 27 p plus 41 remember this this is the reminder of first e, first p of x so let's make it p of x1 so reminder first reminder we are going to get this okay so just box it up now solution is not yet done completely we have to solve little more that one now let's continue so we have one more p of x right just write it as p of x that is the second one and we're just putting two so x cube minus 4x plus p so already we found the value of x so there is no need to find again just substitute p of 3 then just put there 3 cube minus 4 into 3 plus p as it is okay so just solve it what you will get finally is of 15 plus p okay so this is a reminder of r2 we can just i'll put it okay 15 plus p now what you shall do is just as i told you you should equate both of the reminders here first reminder is 27 minus 41 this one with this one so you should equate both of them let's do that now so i according to the statement itself this is given okay i'll write there in the side r1 is equal to r2 it is given already in the statements okay so just equate it it's very easy now r1 we have 27 uh, plus 27 p plus 41 is equal to 15 plus 
P. Now P is all one side. Let's bring them. I don't have space here. I'll write here. Okay. Continuation. So once we, we have to pay, bring all the P's to other side. So 27P minus P. So here plus P was there. When it is bring to LH it becomes minus P. And here you have 41 plus 41. No, When it goes to RH it becomes minus 41. When we saw it, this 27, 27P minus P is 26P and 15 minus 41 is uh, minus 26. So, just P here and 26 is multiplication form. When you transpose it to RH, it becomes division. So, minus 26 by 26. What is the answer? Minus 1. So, value of P is minus 1. Done. Now I'll show the full solution once from here. This is the first part we did. This is the second part. So finally we got the answer as P is equal to minus 1. Clear? Yeah. Hope it was very clear. Now let's look at the fourth question. Here we have. The fourth question says uh, verify whether G of X is a factor of F of X. So F of X. So we have to just verify this that's its verification part so it's easy only just substituting okay so they have given value of f of x even g of x so let's do it and simplification i'm not going to do because there's no value no, there's no variables for variables i have done for uh, numbers also i have given some examples in the previous video just look at look at it okay so solving is assigned as homework every time. I give this to you can improve your uh, solving skills. That's why I give it as homework. Now looking at fourth question, first part. Given value is f of x is equal to. One second, I'm sorry. F of x is equal to x cube minus three x square plus four x minus 4 so this is the given if g or sorry f of x now looking at given g of x that is x minus 2 so every time whenever we get g of x we equate it to 0 when minus 2 is sent to rh it becomes plus 2 so x value is 2 now just substituting in the place of f of x just put f of 2 plus 2 okay f of 2 is equal to 2 cube minus 3 into 2 square sorry 2 square plus 4 into 2 minus 4 so what is the uh, solving and all I told you you should solve it okay it is 16 minus 16 that is 0 okay if you get result as 0 that means when you solve it and you get 0 in the place of f of x then it is a factor then g of x is a factor of f of x okay so when you get 0 then only f of x fa is a factor sorry g of x is a factor of f of x okay remember this part okay don't forget so here x minus 2 is the factor of f of x okay just copy it now looking at second part of the question what it says f of x value is i'm writing the given data here okay 2x cube plus 4x plus 6 and given g of x is x plus one so just we uh, normally equate it to zero so just do that and uh, x plus one goes to rh and becomes minus one so x value is minus one now instead of uh, x just put f of minus one and just solve that two into mi minus one cube plus four into this is cube okay minus one plus six so when you solve this, you have to solve, I told, you will get minus 6 plus 6, sorry, sorry, it went that. Minus 6 plus 6 
which is zero. So zero means it is a this x plus one is a factor of f of x. Clear? So let's look at the fifth and sixth question in the next video. Thanks for now and do like, share, subscribe to Vishwa Blooms.